being in relationship? Are you having doubts about your relationship with God? It is important to pray and congregate with other believers, but we have to be careful that we don't judge our relationship with God based on how much we engage in traditions, formalities, and rituals. The devil condemns, but the Lord convicts by his spirit. When the devil condemns, he makes you feel bad about yourself. But when the Lord convicts, it is a gentle nudging that is loving and kind. He also shows you how to make necessary corrections. If something or someone is keeping you from doing the right thing, then you will make changes. Open the doors of opportunity for you to do what is right. The scriptures say, So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to Him, the power of the life-giving Spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. It also says, For every temptation, He will make a way of escape. Your relationship with God and your mate or loved ones is not just saying and doing things. It involves being. Being in relationship with God and others is listening, feeling, and observing. Relationship involves the five senses. See, hear, smell, touch, taste, and includes the spiritual sense, your innermost being and sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. When you truly pray, you don't just say everything on your mind then get up and go about your business. If you did that to, to your mate or others, they would not appreciate your not giving them the opportunity to express themselves. Prayer is two-way conversation. Yes, you can tell God what is on your mind and heart, but it's also waiting to let Him minister back to you. Sometimes you don't have to say a thing because He is all-knowing. The scriptures say that He knows what you have need of before you ask. And since He is all-knowing, you can just spend time being quiet with Him. That's prayer. Then wait to see what He says to your innermost being, your spirit. Sometimes He won't show you anything. That's okay because you spent time with Him waiting. That's prayer. Then sometimes He will show you things in nature or through other people that will give you an answer or better understanding for what you need to know or do. That's prayer also because you spent time with Him observing other things and people while you waited. Moses asked the Lord, show me your face. In other words, he wanted to know God. But to know God is to learn how to just be in each moment with yourself and be with Him. You know how to be with your mate or loved ones. You can be in the same room but don't have to talk. Being in the presence of others can be gratifying because you get to observe and listen. And it is the opportunity to observe all the beautiful, goofy, quirky, even annoying things about a person. The scriptures say, Taste and see that the Lord is good. That is having a consciousness that God is all around you and you have the opportunity to experience Him as He reveals Himself level upon level to you. He is omnipresent. He will never leave nor forsake you. The Holy Spirit is always with you. Being in relationship with God is allowing yourself to rest in the Lord. He says, Come to me all ye who labor and are heavily burdened and I shall give you rest. Rest doesn't mean you have to not be doing anything, but it is coming to an assurance that no matter what you are doing and not doing, you have everything that He is with you. It is love, peace, joy, happiness, goodness, grace, compassion, mercy, everything, every virtue, the great I am. You don't have to strive or work hard to make yourself look or seem religious. The scripture says, let your light so shine among men that they will see your good works. 
when you learn to just be with the Lord, there is the presence of His glory that will surround your life. That's the light that the scripture is talking about. That light will be so evident in your life that it will cause changes to your relationships, circumstances, and environment. A suggested book to add to your library is My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. It is a devotional that gives a daily scripture with the practical application of that scripture for your life. The book will show you how to be in relationship with God and everyone else. If you can't purchase a copy, it is available to read online at utmost.org. The Bible is your greatest tool to learn how to be in relationship with God.